The ten most annoying things about Indian call centres. Okay, at number, it's oh eight hundred. You dial it, but you dial it with a heavy heart because you're not going to be speaking to somebody in Croydon. You know, it's going to be Calcutta. <laughs> at number nine, it's five p.m. Our time. That means it's past midnight where they are. You've got the night shift. <laughs> You're talking to the night shift, OK? You're talking to the B team. At number eight. At number eight, the ten most annoying things about Indian call centres. The message that the call is being taped. Before you talk to somebody, you get a message telling you that the call oh, yeah. is being taped. Get on with it. And the reason for that is you have to be polite. Yeah. That's what it's there for. <laughs> so be polite. Mm. At number seven. The dreaded music. Oh. They need to talk to somebody, and so you get some music. You don't know how long it's going to be for, OK? Funnily enough, I had to phone uh, somebody else and got put on hold yesterday, and they carry the radio. Oh. Instead of taped music. Yeah. It's a deal that they do, obviously. That's a good idea. Which is kind of good, but except there I was on the phone and I was having to listen to the story about somebody being slashed brutally with a knife. Oh. Oh. Now, normally the music is... <laughs> Relaxing, <laughs> placating. <laughs> yeah, ruby, ruby, ruby. <laughs> but on this occasion, no. So, the Just... ten most annoying things about Indian call centres at number... Six. They say something and you don't quite grasp it. Mm. You don't quite know what they've said. And you just go, yeah. And it's you think, very <laughs> embarrassing because you, you feel bad because mm. you can't understand what they said. <laughs> And you feel as though you're being rude or yeah. vaguely racist. Mm. And remember, saying, it's being recorded. And it's being recorded. <laughs> At number five, you can't find a polite way of saying, can you speak more precisely? You want to say that. Can you enunciate the individual words so that I know what you're saying? To, but you can't. No. Again, because, you know, it just feels vaguely racist. Four. <laughs> The fourth most annoying thing about Indian call centres is the very guilty knowledge that you're discussing a claim for about 250 quid, OK, and you're kind of... It's ugh, 250 quid. But, you know, it's your 250 quid, no, 250 quid. And you know that that's a year's salary for them. Mm. And here you are just complaining about a few golf clubs. And it feed their family for a year. So there's that in there as well. Terrible experience, Indian call centres. Three. At number three, you have to call back. Oh. Okay? Oh, and you get a different annoying. person. You have to start all over again. Oh, yes. Different oh. person. And explain the whole thing from the beginning again. And the person who's put your details into the computer from your previous call hasn't done it right. Yeah. yeah. And they say, you are saying that you're married to somebody called Kevin. I say, no, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Kevin was the man who saw the theft. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> oh, not no. Jane. No, Jane's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> two. At number two... Finding yourself wanting, at certain points during the conversation, to ask chatty things like, what's the weather like where you are? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Make a conversation. <laughs> or, are you in the middle of Calcutta? Yeah. Or, 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 have you ever been to the Tamar Ash Mahal? Sounds very busy, you just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> and the number one most annoying thing about Indian call centres is the absolute absurdity of talking to a total stranger <laughs> 8,000 miles away <laughs> about something that happened 150 yards from where you're phoning. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything more absurd on planet Earth? I could see the place where it happened, and I'm describing it to a man 8,000 miles away, and he wants to know what a hedge is. <laughs> He can't tell you how what a relief it was for me to be submerged in the comparative calm and tranquility of the Andy Murray match after that. 81800 is the text number. The ten most annoying things about call centres or Indian call centres if you want to go there. Uh, and we ain't being racist, you know that. We wouldn't do that. We're just saying it's absurd.